something, Mike, that I never would have dreamt. I mean, I, I just came across this note in the packet this morning. Okay. We have a feature called Go Yard. It's brought to you by Scott's, the official lawn care company of Major League Baseball. And as most people, if you're following the beginning of the baseball season, are aware, Alex Rodriguez has been going yard at a somewhat surprisingly mm-hmm. high rate. A-Rod is hitting home runs, or it was through last week anyway, to some degree in bunches. And we have something on ESPN.com's Insider called Zips. It's a system that projects home runs and career totals and all that kind of stuff. Now, given his play in recent years, the projection systems have jumped ship as steadily on A-Rod as the fans have, projecting only 15 home runs for A-Rod this year. His projection has rebounded quicker than other players, however, now projecting a fairly significant bump. The comeback, and then I'm not going to get through all of the numbers right. on this here because there's a bunch of convoluted numbers, but the bottom line of it is it means that they are currently projecting his home run total when he retires to move up from what had previously been 683 to 706, which certainly puts Babe Ruth very much within yep. range. Mm-hmm. If Zips, if this machine were to be told that A-Rod would finish this season with 30 home runs, so if he hits 30 home runs this year, that projection would go all the way up to 732 and would give him a better than 20% chance of passing Barry Bonds and becoming the all-time home run king. So the first thought I had to myself was, do you care if Alex Rodriguez passes Barry Bonds to become the all-time home run king? And then I actually stopped. I'm sitting in my car this morning on my way in. I sort of stopped. I sat back and I thought, Could you ever have imagined a time? I started in this business in 1989. I've covered sports professionally for 26 years. It's basically the only thing I've ever done for a living. I would say the most significant story that we've ever covered on the field, you tell me, has there ever been anything that generated more interest than McGuire and Sosa Sosa. making their home run chase? I think that's probably been the number one story in sports that we covered. Whenever anybody made a run at any of those sacred baseball numbers, it was the biggest thing that there was. And you said the perfect word, because in baseball, it's different than every other sport. Sacred. Sacred numbers. Would you ever have imagined a time when, when an American sportscaster would have gone on the air and said, do you care if the all-time home run record gets broken. But the honest answer to the question, and this, of course, is the crux of of why the Yankees are trying to get out from under the the bonuses they owe him, and that's a whole separate discussion. I genuinely think people don't care. Barry Bonds is currently the home run king, and if A-Rod passes him, I I think it will be a, a... largely meaningless event. Not to say it won't get some attention. Yeah, I disagree. I think it'll get more attention than you think. How much? Certainly not what it was, but I don't think as low as you think. Tell me. I think there'll be more people. Excited might be the the, the wrong word. Intrigued. And, but you know what they'll be doing? Watching. They'll be watching. You think? Yes. Absolutely. Yep. And watching whether to hope he doesn't do it. Or the hope that he does do it, or to see if he's going to. Do it. I don't think. I don't think he's getting the bonds. I don't think he's getting the bonds at all. But I do think people would be intrigued. Again, not excited. It would be. It would be different. Normally, when you get someone chasing that, the majority of people want to see them break it. There's some, you know, old schoolers that would say, you know, that didn't want bonds to do it. And then obviously the story took a unbelievable when when bonds and the PEDs, and that was the end of that. But some of the old timers maybe wouldn't want to see it broken. But the majority we know would. With A-Rod, you'd get all kinds. you get those that want to see him do it, those that don't want to see him do it, those that don't care if he does it but are going to watch anyway. So I still think you'll get a lot of eyes, a lot of eyes on it, but it's not going to be, in, you know, people aren't going to be dying to be out there to catch that ball because it's not going to be worth anything near, you know, what it could have been. So while the excitement value that we just loved – with Sosa and McGuire, that will not be there. I absolutely think there's going to be a whole lot of intrigue about it and a whole lot of eyes on it. You know, here's the thing that I would ask. I, I would just be curious to know, and it, it's it's a difficult thing to do, but wherever you are right now, assuming you're not driving a car, just sit back for one second, close your eyes, and see how quickly you could answer the questions that I'm about to ask you, okay? And if I were to ask you these three questions in the following order, how quickly would you be able to answer them, and would you get them right? How many home runs did Babe Ruth hit in his career? How many home runs did Hank Aaron hit in his career? How many home runs did Barry Bonds hit in his career? 
I would bet you that more people would be able to tell you immediately, if you just just open your eyes right now and, and shout out the answers wherever you are, how many of you, by show of hands, I can't see you, but we'll do this on the honor system, how many of you knew Ruth and Aaron but did not know Bonds? I think that's exactly right. Could not agree more. So what does that mean? So, I mean, is passing, is passing Ruth and passing Aaron more significant than passing Bonds? I mean, Bonds is the record. I understand that. Bonds is the record. And it's 762, but to be honest, I had to make sure. Yeah. I was, I, I was 99% sure it was 762. I agree with you. But that's not a number that's on the tip of your tongue. Nope. 714 and 755. That's the number. Just roll right off your tongue. I agree. You know, so, I, for whatever that's worth... You know how many – you don't know the record. No, you know second you know and you know ones. third. You but don't know why, first. But that's why I think there'll be incredible intrigue of A-Rod and I think obviously more realistic to get to to the other numbers first, to 714 first. I, I, we'll see if he gets there. I don't I don't think he gets near seven. You know, 755 or 762. I don't know if it's gets to 714. I mean, I know he came out of the great strong, gate strong. The guy's going to be 40. Yeah. You know, and, and God knows if he keeps getting hit home runs, people are already saying, well, he must be finding a way to keep doing his PEDs. Right. You know, that's going around there. And, and, and I, does that help or hurt the discussion? I mean, that, no, that's part a, of it probably listen, hurts the discussion. The discussion for him is out the window. Yeah, there, there's nothing about him that he can do that's going to be considered real. Not only the fact that he did it, but the way he handled himself. There, there's no there's no chance of him anyway, anyhow. There's just not enough time left for him to do anything to get any part of his legacy back. So that's that, that's completely gone. We are Mike and Mike. We're live next Thursday and Friday in Chicago for the NFL Draft. Brought to you by Castrol, GTX, Magnatech Motor Oil with intelligent molecules that cling to your engine to protect from the very start. ESPN is sort of breaking up into two separate groups next yeah, week. Yeah. Half the people are headed to Vegas for the fight. Half are headed to Chicago 